making his way to the ring, representing records of C Max. Standing six feet five inches tall, weighing 235 pounds, introducing Smithy T. Baker. Making her way to the ring representing Peacemakers from Parks Unknown. Standing six foot five, weighing 233 pounds. The current CR5 Pro Heavyweight Champion, the Real Breaker, Savas Bonavent. Your referee, the Dreadful. Fight. I don't know anything about Smithy. I don't know where Warren just gets these people out of prison, I guess, or work release or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know anything about the prison system. I just know people that know people that are in there. <laughs> That's all I know. And I damn sure I haven't been to Charlotte Maximum Security Prison upper epsilon of all hell and back again craziness. So Whatever Smithy, Smithy the Money Man, I don't know, I mean, they confront Savas and she just, all right, look, I ain't, I'm, I'm running, the funds are weirdly low, okay? We should be raking in a lot of money, but we're not. We're not raking in much money, and I don't understand. One. The tickets are doing well, they're doing all right, you can see the audience out there. You know, we we do on average about twelve hundred people. That's our average, about twelve hundred. Um, actually, no, about twenty-four. Um, we do about two thousand four hundred people, twelve hundred to twenty-four hundred, and the books it just don't add up. Tickets get sold, but they they're not doing so well. And I want to thank the dreadful for coming from wherever she came from. It's hard to say. I just, I just saw that. I, I thought it was some kind of thing, but it's a purple X on her, her referee outfit. She's wearing the gloves. I, I, I don't. The, the extremists had to find her for me. She was harder to find than the extremists. So I don't know what's going on. They, they doing the best of five series. He's introducing Smithy. He's just as eye ruthless as she is. I mean, Lynchcraft is going to be a, a, a hot spot after matches with these two. Shoulder knocked down by Savas, kicking the leg, working it. He rakes an eye across the ropes or the forehead, one, one of them. Sound to the growing. Five minutes gone. He's just. And look, I, did anyone see the Super Clash? I, the Super Clash, I learned those people there are crazy. I stayed in my locker room. I watched it on the monitor, the first, uh, like, few good good matches and stuff. And they were all right-ish, but I realized that those people there are just trying to hurt others. Records, it seems like I need to go to, their, to, to IWR and wrestle there because I'm going to tell you right now, those people there are crazy. They are straight up crazy, and they trying to hurt people. And all, and, and that's, no, nah, man, I, I went there to squash some beef, whoop Marco, Marco his shit talking, and just put him in his place. Yeah. Oh, come going. But, no, I stay in my locker room. Those people are dangerous. They are straight dangerous. I'll talk about it, look, I'll talk more here and there throughout this program, but this, this, no, man. No. No, no, no. Not IWR. That's that's dangerous. Oh, headbutt. She ate that. Man, that and dropped not down. She's trying to get the... Oh, she lights him up. Lights him up. Low blow. Man, that's not part of that. He's down to the back. One. Now, this is a third of five weeks. And I'm gonna let you know, uh, 
Christmas Eve, the 24th, yes, there will be a show. We got a little special festive ring. So, the wrestlers will be there. Uppercut. Oh, man, he's just choking her out. Just choking Dude. her. Come on, what are you coming so slow for? Just, just letting them do what they do, right? Is that what you're doing? Just letting them do what it is that they do. Yeah. Both of them are equal height, damn near equal weight. Give up. And she got a tight ankle lock Give in. Up. And she look at got, got the throat again. And they lift in the ropes. They're in the ropes. They're in the ropes. Damn. Ten minutes gone. I see why they call it the dreadful. I mean, you're trying to survive. Low blow. I like you're gonna disqualify him. Walking over there. Oh, she's she's groggy. Oh no. Uppercut. Who goes for the pin? One, two. She kicks out on two. Another low blow. Like beat down. It seems like he might have her number. Yes. Those same counters. And spinning back this, I would have went for the pin. I would have went for the pin. Look at that trick knee. And she gets right up. And look at him. He's got her number. Yeah, he's saying that he's already scouted and thought about it. One, two. That could be it. No. I'm, I'm just saying, after what Beatdown did, they got a formula to beat her. They got a serious formula. Boy, I'm to the back of the head. Picks him up from behind. Oh, trick me. Gives her every time. Yep. Crowd is not happy with Smithy. Oh, that brutal headbutt. One, that might have not told Smithy. No. Damn near close, though. Real close. Yeah. No low kick. No, he got up. He evaded that. Oh, put him right there with that punch. Chops in the corner. Now she's like she's trying to wrestle a bit. Well, strike wrestling, one more or less. Oh man. He's gonna he's gonna oh he takes her down. Are they in the ropes? Oh and she goes up. And your winner of the match. And winning the first of this series is Smithy T. Danko. The money man. The money man just beat Savas Fortovit. I don't even know what to say. But um that's just that's just how things go. It's good to No, some, somebody go protect the cards. I didn't warn of anything. Go protect the cards. If Kaijin is that he and I got a match later on. All right, against Galaxy. And Galaxy trying to take advantage of me and Kaijin's loss uh and and kaijin being in the dumps about this so um yeah someone protect the cards protect the vendors i don't know why wouldn't want to i guess talking that trash is advice is something to probably get in her head i don't know uh, let's get to the next match Making his way to the ring, representing records of C Max. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing 240 pounds, locked down.
and his opponent representing peacemakers from parts unknown standing 5 foot 10 weighing 160 pounds and your current CR5 Pro Junior Heavyweight Champion the big middle Tyson Teram Heritus your referee the dreadful fight I don't know what's up with Warren because I, I, I didn't even mention it because I'm like that's their business but um him and him confronting you know D and B block when they're free to now do what they want to do I don't know about that and then you know the rest of well the TV part of JWO showed up but the co-leaders uh him lock and hurt lock they showed up warden I guess he's trying to sound pretty big and bad and whatnot but no nah, bro he, he didn't want none of that I mean, only a fool would want any of that. You know, four against one, no. You're not going to survive. You're not. And that's something else I want to talk about. A four on one. Because I was, I, look, my match against Marco, that, no. I was like, look, the whole time there, I wanted to be like, I want to get out of here. Because those, those, those wrestlers there aren't, they're not wrestlers. They just, I don't know what they are. You know. Now, they want to cite, that is, now, honestly, that's just some political bullshit that they do. They want to, you know, Barco and those going to sit there and cite that CR Fire Pro is all about being juiced up and all this other stuff and, and don't rest. I'm like, look, outside of records of C-Max, even JWO sit there and perform. You know, even piss makers are performing, but records of C-Max, they just get in and just... They just do moves. They're just trying to hurt someone. They're just trying to stretch and break. That's what they're trying to do. And that's not my style. And I don't like that. But it, by the bottom bar at least, somewhat, some form, you can see some kind of build up with records of C Max. You can at least see a little something. Now, uh, Freya Bast, that's, that's different. She, uh, she just guns blazing. She would fit perfectly over there with everyone else. And she comes out saying, I'm going to swing the big moves and that's it. Give up. And that's what happened. Oh, look, I, during that match, Marco, he seemed to be a pretty, uh, kind of almost a, uh, a strong technical Great. guy, a little bit, from, from, that, from a, in, initially laughing up. And I wasn't there to run. I was there to fight. And then when I saw what was going on Five out in that ring, those first few matches, I wasn't there to fight. I was there to live. I was like, they're going to kill me up in here. I stayed in there. So when I got out and he, and we, you know, I'm, I'm going I'm to whoop his ass. That's just all I wanted to do. And all of a sudden, he, you know, he gets me down a few times. Give up. He gets me down and he grabs my leg. And I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? He grabbed my leg and, 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 and put on some kind of hug. He had me running all over the mat. Give up. And I'm like, what the hell is this? He, I mean, he didn't wrap up my legs. He didn't do anything. I'm sitting there like, I'm too give strong up. to give up to this. You haven't, even, you haven't even softened me up to this. You're just, just putting it on and hoping that I guess give up. And I guess you put on any move long enough or enough times, you're going to give up. Just like this standing with this uh, uh, seated arm bar. Oh, Rosa Rubber, guard, float over, elbow strike to the back of the head. Oh, guard position. Nope, she floats that over. And again, Give up. I, I didn't, that match was strange, me and Marco. I'm working on my, he, he worked on my legs as like, I mean like last ditch effort stuff. Now one time he stopped the leg, Give you know. Up. You know, he don't do any leg wear down holes. This is what, this is what they're, they're on about over there. They don't know how to wear anyone down. They just go out and fight and try to hurt somebody. Give up. I'm not, that's not me. You can call me, you can call us juiced up and try to do all this projection and crap. You know, that, you know, you want to go to the political arena. I can do that. But no, I'm going to be in the accountable arena. Great. That mess, no, I, I'm trying to live. And then... Marco bails on the match, and I'm like, where the fuck is he going? Give up. He, run, he, he, he runs out to the crowd like a little bitch. 
And then next thing I know, I turn around. And these four motherfuckers, I don't know who they are. And they start whooping my ass. Oh man, I got my ass whooped. I can't fight four people. Now I got some licks in here and there, but. Give up? I don't, man, I don't even know. That's something to think about. I mean, him man. I Give got up. my ass beat. Ten minutes gone. I can just leave it at that. I can just leave it at that and just say, hey, what's done is done. So I don't know. I don't know. Give up. Now, Wolf Girl Labushkis, who he called out not too long ago. Ah, oh, buddy. Yeah, see. Give up. He's calling out my daughter. I got plenty of kids and, yeah. and whatnot that wrestle. Give that rolling knee bar. Oh, she's reaching on that, beautiful. But he's calling her out. Ooh, overhead elbow. That might be it. Give up. But Wolf Girl Abushkis did not <laughs> Abushkis did not take kindly to, to to the stuff saying about her and and her and her daddy. So she's she's feeling the way about that, but she's in humble talent wrestling. I told her, you stay where you are. You do you, girl. You get your paychecks. All right, nice. And your winner of the match is Talam Pettitus. Oh, no, nah, we're talking about this match too much. No, I got stuff to talk about. I got stuff to talk about. That was a good, it was still a good match. I was watching it. No, nah, that should have been, I would say, 87%. Yeah, honestly, look, I'm going to tell you what they did. Teram and Lockdown, as much, my lockdown is a mystery to me. But I'm going to say this. That, what they did, that was Matt Wrestling right there. Counter, roll, and all the other stuff. You want to do some counter, some good amateur type wrestling and, and, and jockeying for a position? Hey, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. So, you know, and that might turn a lot of people off. But that's it. That's, that's where you go. It'll tire people out, and I think that's what happened. He, he, she tired him out, wore him down, and and tapped him out. You know, well, well, it was still a tap out. I mean, you know, punching somebody in the head and you know give up, which is pretty much what I was trying to do there at Super Clash. But um, no, nah, I I fail. <laughs> I don't know exactly how I'm gonna proceed. I don't know what to think about this whole Marco guy. He, I don't know. But uh, let's get to the next match. So right now the series is tied, one up. So we're going to see how this unfolds with the next match. Oh, matter of fact. Um, yeah, I'll, 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 uh, I'll talk about that in the next match. Making her way to the room, representing Records of C Max. Standing 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing 178 pounds, this is Hip Hop. And her opponent, representing Peacemakers from Parks Unknown. Standing 5 foot 4, weighing 136 pounds. The Dark Villainous, Harkonnen's Ludicrum. <laughs> Referee, The Dreadful. What? So, look, Raga and Henry, they, they're working through the Henry is just not feeling too, I don't know, I'm sure he's confident he's shot after the, the, I mean, he, he gave out a submission. Then he got, like, damn near hurt. So, then he got knocked out. Nah, he, he ain't feeling too well. Now, I think, I mean, you can only get beat up with so much before you start to wonder about things. And it seems like he's starting to sway about Ryder. And hip-hop coming out. I'm like, look, you find Harkin who's getting ready to come out and stuff. He's going to come up and talk trash. You're a moron. This is how you do it. You talk trash any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even understand that. That just don't make any sense. 
Warden is, he seems to be getting around today. Uh, December 24th, 24, 24. Oh, that's going to be the, um, that's going to be Christmas Eve or the holiday Eve or whichever you want to call it. The Eve of Saturnalia, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it's going to be, the, the rest is going to be there, like I said earlier, I think. I, I think I said earlier. And they'll be there. We're going to do our thing, commentary and all that stuff. And then the next day, you know, I've been pulling together, trying to, I've been saving up all year. Because I'm like, everyone's been doing some talent. We get them some, some presents and whatnot. So, you know, that's what's going to happen. A Manhattan drop. Oh, looping overhead punch. Jawbreaker. Oh. Harkin was here. She, she hasn't shown up yet. What's she running to? You can't run to that part of the ropes. That that part of the ropes is stiff. One. I watched a New Japan Pro Wrestling match, and I saw Beretta come off the corner ropes right there. They didn't have much give. He was holding his back afterwards. Oh. The wrestlers got to watch out. There you go. Elbow drop. Oh man, what what happened? He, she just she must have hit her head or something. Round the counter. One. Hip hop being slightly taller and slightly outweighing her by a Oh my oh, goodness! Oh shit, Jack her up. What? I thought she jacked her up. God damn it! And the winner of the match, hip hop. She might have to check on Harkaloose and tell, to, call her mom, to tell her what happened. Oh man, that that was quick. I guess hip hop made her point. She, she damn. Well, hip hop is vicious. I mean, look at the guns on her. Look at them guns. She got cannons, man. She almost got beam cannons. I'm picking on little Harkaloose. Harkaloose ain't do nothing to you. What? The Harkaloose is cute. Anyway, let's let's get to the next match. So right now, records ahead by one. Let's go. Making their way to the ring, representing Records of C-Max. First, standing 5'11", weighing 227 pounds, Freya Bast and her partner. Standing 6'3", weighing 209 pounds, Boot Down. Bring it! And their opponents, representing Peacemakers. First, Standing 6 feet 11 inches tall, weighing 370 pounds, the tenderizer, Henry Brown. And his partner from Mexico, standing 5 foot 4, weighing 143 pounds, the gravity betrayer, Belantos Nimbu. Yeah! The referee, the dreadful. So beat down starting off quick and heavy. Got a good knee strike in and Volantes tags out quick. And she gets out of the ring just as fast. He must have hurt her. Ah, and he's tattooed ah, Henry. And Henry's trying to kick and wrestle the body blows. Henry being a big dude, you would think he would just run over someone, but there's been proven that oh he got lured to the, the wrong neighborhood. Stomp to the to the back there by beat down. Speaking about beat down, that beat down I took on Super Clash. That won't no joke. 
that won't no joke. They, they were trying to hurt me. They don't know me. That's see, that's what's messed up. They don't know me. They know nothing about me. But then they're trying to hurt me. I mean, I guess I should feel like one of the boys in that company. I don't know. I don't know what they got. I don't know what their policy is over in IWR, but I'd like to see it. I'd like to read it. Tag into Volantes. She seemed to be faring better now. A couple of arm drags, spinning leg breaker, or spinning shin breaker. He's laying them left hands right into her. Single leg trip, sunset flip, or uh, front flip senton. Frankensteiner, senton, or somersault senton. You dumbass! Oh man, punching right in the top of the head. Now here comes Freya. Look at the, the damn beef on them arms. What the hell? That, look, there's a point where you should stop lifting weights in prison. You know, just get to a certain point and just stop. Or at least turn yeah. it down. Figure for a jackknife pin, but that's to no avail there. Come on! Back and forth they go. Come on! Come on! Volante is not much Come of a striker, as you can see in those types of overhead uh, arrow type punches. I mean, she was zooming in, but they were very, <laughs> very telegraphed. You know, yeah, the, the two pieces. Peppering and tattooing. And that's what Freya was about last time. I think Freya just, she just might be that way. This shin breaker. Oh, the dreadful. Oh, I think she busted open. Five minutes gone. Yeah! Oh, she got. One. One. Oh, man. I, 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 think, I think the dreadful's been busted open, but I don't think she gives a damn. Toe kicked by Henry. He's trying to. Yeah! And she's coming out girls blazing. I mean, she fit right in over there at IWR. I mean, good grief. Yeah! I don't see anything. I think. No, I think Dreadful's alright. If she's bleeding, I don't think she can. I don't think she know. Real breaker by Henry Brown. Man, he was headed to the uh, ref. I think he just stopped yeah! Oh, she done duped him up. Good grief. Got out of the way, Dreadful. Oh, left bad knuckle punch. Rib breaker. He's got her. She's, she's making a tag. Good grief. I don't know how much of that he, he can sustain. If Volantes did have a better time against Beatdown, maybe, maybe she'll fare better. A nice combo, a nice teamwork right there with that combination. Elbow to the back, jumping elbow to the leg. She's been working the legs of, of, of both of them. Now he goes onto the ropes. Go behind, face crusher. Somersault senton. And she missed that spinning back kick. You dumbass. Oh, right the face. Oh! She didn't even get a chance to clear the cobwebs. Stomp to the, like to the, to the bridge of the nose almost. You dumbass! I, come on now, Peacemaker's gonna have to fight back. They, oh crap! They're down one. They got to make it even here. Cause there's no, once you lose this, that's, you know, that's a sweep. Well, not a sweep, but you know, they win the series. This is, this is really do or die right here. STO. Same time. Before I'm knocked down. Ten minutes Finish. One, Got a nice round of going. Two. And he kicks out. Oh, two, three. Haymaker. That blazing punch. Yeah. Oh crap! Yeah. yeah, she she's she's making a strategic retreat. She just got duped up by both of them, and she went she was off the double team with some with a kicks, and he's whipping up on that body. So actually, uh, Volante's been whipping up on that body too okay. with those sentons. Yeah. Someone that big, she kind of got a Mike Tyson thing going on. <laughs> Right, bare knuckle punch off the ropes. 
Oh! Pendulum power bomb! One! Two! Okay, what, what was that about? Come right back up the punch. Tell him to get up. Yeah. Oh! Left uppercut. Yeah. Uppercut from behind. Uh, I mean, she's she just a fighter. One, two. I mean, she, she, that's it. She, she, not, she, what resume has she shown? Nothing. Oh! She caught her with that right punch. Right to the jaw. <laughs> She's going to whip on him and whip on him. One, Come on, Montez. Henry Brown has taken a beating. Come he took on. both of them a beating. Oh, Great. they're in the ropes. And she was, she was going to strangle her, strangle her out. Off the ropes. No, she holds on. To the ropes again. She's holding on. Yeah. Rolling cradle. I have to keep, keep, keep for calling it the rolling death cradle. Are they in the ropes? Great. Yep, they're in the ropes. The beatdown's getting out. And she's tagging out. She's tired. They're throwing Bring all those damn haymaker Bring punches it. and stuff. She should be tired. Bring it! Bring it! Come on, Vermontes. Yes, I'm being biased here. Finish. Oh, he got out the way. Oh, crap! Henry, you have to get Two. in there. Oh, you, you, you got to sub someone. STO. Hops to the top. One. Finish. Diving capture Ace Crusher. Dolphin Clutch. Yeah. But she's right. One. But it's not even getting Two. in. That's confidence for you. Yeah. Rolling Cradle. She's trying to put him away. She's trying. Freddie's still not getting in the room. Two, three. And she got him. <laughs> and your winners of the match, Henry Brown and Volante Nimbu. The graphic was wrong. It's, it's Volante. It should have been Volantes in S. Ah. <sighs> Oh my goodness. It's probably wrong on other things too. Uh, that that match was heavily needed. Um now it's tied up. It's 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 all tied up. Um and it's strange before that match. I didn't want to bring it up, but that warden I I gotta understand what I, I gotta I gotta understand. I gotta figure this out. What what's Samo Keeb all about? You know? Cause that was strange. I was that was strange. I, I'm just, I'm just saying. So their match is next, and their match is the tiebreaker. And I ain't gonna lie, Warden has been on a tear. I don't, I honestly don't think Samo Keep is gonna be able to pull this out. But we're, we're we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. Let's get let's get down to the ring. Making his way to the ring. Representing records of C-Max, Nita, standing 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing 242 pounds, The Warden. I guess he don't like the fans. Making his way to the ring, representing Peacemakers. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing 198 pounds, the Wild Coyote, Summer Keys. Your referee, the Dreadful. Fight. Now, Samo, yeah, he's giving up some size, huh. but he's got plenty of fight. Plenty of fight. As we've seen, and obviously, obviously turns of spiritual energy. <laughs> Whatever the hell that was in uh, the empty medical bay, 
Yeah, and, and I guess supposedly Harkinu should have been there, but no. Honestly, hey, it, it, huh? it, she just got temporarily uh, her, uh, knocked out. Uh, no, So far, they're still checking. No signs of concussion or anything of the sort. Just um, a slight bump on the back of the head. Uh, so she should be fine. Uh, for rolling to the camel clutch. Huh. Warren, he's not about wrestling at all either. He's just all punches and stuff. But I guess, you know, when you, how you gonna call yourself the Warren when, you know, you was just a security guard? Fuck! Huh. Granted, at maximum security, but still. And alluding to the other work that he's done uh, in, the, in the few past shows, I'm like, huh? I don't know what you did, but don't bring that shit here. Well, it seems like he has brought it here. That's how he's gotten here. Right now, record the C-Max is very dangerous. The series is tied up two and two. And after this, we still got a bunch of matches. We, we still got a bunch of matches. We got seven matches after this. Can you hold on? Can you? Give up? Can you make it? The dreadful. She, she, I don't even know. Why, why does she need a referee? She'll stand there and be like, do what you want to do, y'all. That's all she's got to do. Knee to the body, stomp to the back. Palm strike, another one. Keeping his distance. Iris whip. I just bump off of him. Oh, low blow. Stomp to the back. And left elbow, and knee to the growing. I tell you, man, heel wrestlers never met a crotch they didn't like. Good grief. Ah! Oh, overhead chop. Five minutes Jump and take the chop. Right elbow. Sleeper hold. Show to rush. Fuck. Overhead punch, put him in the corner. Put him in the corner. Body body rush. The body blows. And left palm strike. He huh. still oh right palm strike. Left huh. alternating. He missed the taser chop. Off the ropes from behind. Turn around, dude. Oh, elbow to the back of the head. Headbutt, jumping two handed headbutt. Oh, final fist drop. Oh, he shoots him to the outside. One, we'll get a breath. Oh, he's recovered. Two. All right. Whoa, we got a chair. Uh, you might want to watch out for this, man. Oh, distraction with the chair. Low blow again. Stomp to the back. Goes for the pin. One, One two, nope. One and a half. Oh, take the chops. Take the chop. One. Oh. Diving somersault uh, body splash. One. Knee to the body. Woo. Show Ted Rush. Oh. Overhead punch. That Chuck Liddell type, type punch. Oh, Taser Chops. We went out to the ring. What's he going out there for? Diving Swan, Diving Swan Dive. Taser uh. Chop. Oh, right to the. Good. Three. Give up. Samuel Keith was trying to bring it, but. Oh, he said he's going down. Oh snap! That's it! Oh my goodness! The winner of the match is the Weldon! What in the hell? Someone's got to go check on Samo Key. We got to. Yeah, call his mom. Let her know what happened. <laughs> you know, but yeah, that is the warden. He won it for the series. He was the he he was a good anchor. So 
Yep. It's always good to be a good anchor. That last one is going to pull it out in the end. But, uh, man, him and uh, hip hop, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's crazy. But you know what? We can get a few, I guess, a few ranked things here and there. I'm happy about I'm happy about that. So, yeah, let's get on with something. Yeah, thanks for that. All right. Uh, making his way to the ring from Japan. Representing one half of Devolution Store. 75 feet of level, weighing 235 pounds. DNC Devil. And his partner. Representing focused aggression. And one half of the cross faction tag team. CM United, standing six foot seven, weighing three hundred forty one pounds, Belgian. The referee, the dreadful. Fight! It's a zero run match. This is obviously spinning off of Belgian being pissed off about DNC Devil holding on to his wife. Solstice uh, in a unprofessional manner, as he stated. Um, thanks to the communication desk, uh, she threw this match in real quick. Let me know. So I hope these two understand by order of spout. They're not getting paid. That's why the dreadful is out there. They're not getting paid. Now Pesky wanted to run out here, and we stopped her. It's like, no, we're not going to sit here and do this. No. Like you can have the next match, not, not this one. Super Clash had a great main event. I'm not calling out any names. But that it was a it was a great it was a great match. I would have given it five stars. Um You know, I just I sat in the back and I convalesced, watched the rest of the show. And you know, I, I, you know, the rest of the show was good. It was good. Uh, the main event, I would have given that probably five stars. You know, they, they, they have far more wrestling skill than the other people do. Give up. You know, so, you know, take that, take that for as much as you can, can take it for. And I was, I was kind of impressed. They had that, you know, never say die attitude. No, they beat they beat the brakes off each other in that match. So kudos to a, to a great main event. And a, you know, I would say uh, honestly, a well put together, um, a well put together big event. So I give Zero Programming the credit where it's due right there. That, it was a good show. It was it was it was good. Um, it was just I'm just one day removed from it. So yeah, I got my lumps. I'm not. Bang bang. Oh man, he, he tattooed him well. I'm, you know, he's. I'm, 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 I'm sore here and there, but it's nothing that, you know, ibuprofen hasn't taken care of. Oh, Super Frankensteiner. Key lock, working on that arm. Small package counter. One. Five minutes gone. And then he's trying to bring it. Trying to bring it. Punch it. Well, uh, double sledgehammer to the back. Another one. 
Scott Pusky was known for some some sledgehammers. Ooh, that was a stiff body blow. Another sledgehammer. Trying to keep DNC Devil down. And don't, don't. Oh, that rich inside headlock. And, you know, and. <laughs> Angel Storm's got a match later on, I'm, and she's not even concerned with what Devil did because she's obviously secured her relationship. I mean, maybe more secure than she needs to be because I would have lost my shit. Give up? I'm not even. I'm not even going front. I'm. I pretty much would be right where Beijing is, who's obviously tired. Yeah, DC Devil, you're ready. Bang, bang. Oh, tattooed right in the back of the head. Dragon screw leg whip. You don't get to see Beijing in singles action often, so I guess this is a small treat. Clothesline takedown, stomping, stomping, picks him up. Leg to the face, countered by Beijing. Beijing got him. No, back body drop from the power bomb or head scissors, One, standing head scissors. Two. Man. Three. Four. You can go home and sleep. By the time you get this to, to, to 17. He's got him. Oh man. One, two. 2.9. Yeah, that one showed the power bomb. I thought, oh, power slam. One, two. Does he have him? No. You don't, you don't have him. He don't have him. Go behind. Standing switch. Standing switch. German suplex, rolling German suplex, German suplex hold. Oh. Samurai bomb, but no, he, he's in the ropes. Body blow, knee, knee, knee tight knee strikes. Major pulls him away from the corner. Right in mean the ropes, not right the corner, elbow butt. Forearm smash. Come on. From behind. Dragon suplex hold. One, One two. two. Thought that was it. Oh, Devil did not get up. Feel the power. Fisherman Dragon. One, two. Devil surviving. Dragon screw leg whip. Pulls him away from the ropes. Kind of. Achilles stretch. Give up. Great. And that guy didn't work that much. Not, not that I've seen it anyway. But the King Church is also a basic move as well. Off the ropes. Elbow drop to the back. Roll from over. That, okay, we must feel something Two, confident. Three. And we got him. Yes, Yo, winner of the match, DNC Devil. You know, I'm sure Beijing might feel a certain way about that. I'm thinking he just might feel a certain way about that. Y'all think he might feel a certain way about that? Because I think he's going to feel a certain way about that. The next match coming up will be a mixed match. The Matriarch versus Arturo Romino. Originally scheduled for uh, Matriarch to go against rank 11 DNC Devil. But Bajan had other plans, so this was made uh, after this match. So a little impromptu. So, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'm sure Bajan's feeling like he's getting out the ring. Devil's already gone. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Making her way to the ring. Representing hierarchy. Leader. Standing 5'7", weighing 216 pounds. The Matriarch. And her opponent, representing Daily Wrestling Alliance, and one half of Second Wave from Japan, standing 5'5", five five, weighing 132 pounds, Romino Asuri! The referee, Pesky. And Romino has been trying to creep up the ladder in the mixed division as it seems to have been very heated by some heavy hitters. 
matriarch is not trying to creep up. She's trying to go for it. It don't matter if it's singles. It don't matter if it's in, in, in the area of um, the juniors or the mixed matriarch. She, she's trying to get some gold. You know, we've been seeing her a lot more than, than usual. From, you know, it's like, you know, and I told her what the match was, you know. You know, I texted her. She was like, I've crept too long to get challenged. <laughs> well, you, you got challenged. You got to go on out there. You know, it would have been DNC Devil, but Beijing ruined that. You got to get out there. Behind the body slam. She 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 put Romino into the mat with that. Stomp to the groin. And and Pesky, we're gonna, you know, we, we're throwing her a little bone there. We're gonna give her two matches. Uh, you know, if you didn't get, oh, rolls her over. Uh, up counter, floats over, floats around. She's got her up. Power bomb. Great mat technique and got got the upper hand and got a big move on her. Joshi style body slam. Stop to the thigh. Oh. Oh. That front kick to the chest. Iris with reversal. Toe kick. Reverse half Boston crab. DDT. Make sure I like some good DDT. Buffalo Sleeper. Already, what in the world? And she hit that on as quick as she could. She must have thought she had something. But she didn't. She had nothing. She got to work her a little bit more before she can get something good Five going with that. Gone. She got her up. Reversed out. Elbow. Diving massive body splash. Ah. Like she took some steam out of herself with that move. Oh, kick to the back. Well, she, yeah, don't wake, don't wake her up. She, she ain't no lightweight like that now. You know, there's a lot of fire in that heart, and a lot of cheating too. Thumb to the eye, like this is. Bones rubber with a small knee. Figure four headlock. Yeah. I think that's like the third one of this match. I think I heard my phone. That would have been a. Sound like that's a text or something like that for somebody. I don't know about who. Oh, look at that. No, that's 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 uh, CAWF just giving an update to everybody. One, two. That's what that is. Just talking about how uh, how long it takes to put a show together and stuff. Yeah. Shot, shot to the face. Oh, and they win. To the top rope, she go. Diving knee drop right to the right to the, the abdomen. Oh, yeah, represent, baby. Figure up. for a headlock. She's got hair control. Elbow to the back. One, two. DDT. Ooh, kick to the small of the back. Figure four leg lock. Give up. Give up. See that? Oh, standing Give up. octopus stretch. Give up. See, that's a headlock, and she's gripped the arm, so that's like a, a cutthroat. And then she's got the other arm through the uh, through the hook. So that's, that, that's an octopus for you. Diving senton, boy. She's like, she had some hang time on that. Oh, chop to the back. You can't come for that. You just gotta get mad. Standing switch. German suplex release. Go for the pins. Nine. One, two, two point nine. Pesky's right there calling the action. Fisherman driver. One, two. 
saw Bajan try that See early. Guillotine Ace Crusher. Guillotine Ace Crusher. Johnny Ace's second Seven. finisher. One of the dynamic dudes. Seven. Another Guillotine Ace Crusher. Yeah, innovated by Johnny Ace. John Laurinaitis, the hated. <laughs> and not getting, not even a two, not even two and a half. Vertical suplex. Make sure I go take a rest. Trying to get the air back in for those, for those two finishes. Elbow to the back. Off the ropes. Oh, front kick. That front boot kick. Wow. Don't you love doing that? Yeah. That might be it. No. She likes she like kicking people in the face. The vertical suplex. Ray Charles got the stars up. Buckle up sleeper. He's letting the game. Divat. She got her. Divat. She got her. Oh, Asuni gets out. Another guillotine ace crusher. Hook the leg, get away from the ropes. That's the third Three. one. 2.9. 2.9. Bursting Tizan, two stone driver. She's out. She is doing, and your winner of the match, the matriarch. How you gonna help my teammate? You're wrong. You're wrong. You know you're wrong. She is definitely trying to climb that ladder. Somebody got to check on her. We got we got to check on her. Samo Samo Keep is all right. You know he cool. He cool. He was just a little dazed, but you know. He feels bad and he's apologized. He apologized to Raga and Raga's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. I know that. Uh, I got I got little spies here and there. Now let's get on to this next match here. You know, that good knockout victory. I think that match should have been rated higher than that. But hey, she survived like four guillotine age crushes. I mean, good grief. So yeah, let's move on. Making the way to the ring. Representing Jail Without Order. JW Black. First. Standing 5'10", weighing 198 pounds, D. Black, and his partner. Standing 5'11", weighing 209 pounds, D. Black. And their opponents, P.K. Heat. First, from Japan, standing 5'9", weighing 227 pounds, Heat. And his partner, from Japan, Standing six feet either way, 194 pounds, Puma Kid. Referee, Pesky. Fight. Blocked the chop already. Off the ropes, no, they, they, they just met. They're starting to be a little heated here. I know him locking her lock a standing guard out back. I know that. I know that much. I also know, oh, double, double brain buster. And he's outside the ring. One, two, three. And gonna do some battle. Nope, he got in. And put my kid is out, wait, waiting for the tag. If, if need one. Tangle body slam. The mounted Shote strikes. Knife edge chop. I, I would I would think about tagging if I was if I was B block. There you go, tagging in his brother D. Was off the double team. Test the strength here. D block wins out. Fire miss carry. Head drop to the to the growing. Elbow punch. Fierce elbow. Stiff elbow. Another elbow. Fire Miss Carry. D block, no stranger getting punched in the face going on in his life. And he tags in Puma Kid. Poke to the eye. D block was on the double team. Puma Kid. He's still. Bother me about John Nubai and I know what he want, but I don't look right now ATW is having any good. I don't think it's over yet. I'm not sure. But 
I'm just saying, if he had an event, he'd be there right now and not being able to defend his rank two spot. And that would make PK he look weak. So I mean, you can't be in two places at once. And then if he was there by himself, you no, know, he what, what's he gonna do? He can't a two against one, that is not gonna be a good way to defend your tag rank. Double drop kill by the Black Brothers. The Brothers Black. Five minutes gone. Got that headlock off of him. Mount position. Give up. Punch it to the head. Got pushed off. Actually knocked off. Pumi Kid tags out. Suplex. Goes outside the ring. One, and give it to He two, wants to fight out the ring bad. Puma Kid wants out that ring Whoa. bad. Nice punch, make him drop that chair. Flat drop kick, he pushed him out the way and evaded. Stop, ah. go for the cover. Just a one count by Pesky. Our amateur referee here, basically. Our rookie, our Give startup. Up. Elbow to the back. Chops, back and forth, chops. The chops, the chops. Give up. Does he? No, he don't. Figure for a headlock. Did not win out on that. Headlock takedown and home. Hey. Mm. Need to the need to the bread basket there. Now, from my understanding, they call it the bread basket because. That's what they used to do in, in, in olden days. They had to carry a whole bunch of bread. You see the, the, the women or bakers or of any kind carrying bread in those big baskets. That's where it would be, held down low. That's from my understanding. I could be absolutely wrong, but I, I saw this not in the documentary, but it's some old black and white TV show. Well, actually it was a movie. It was like a part one and two. Those movies were done long back in them days. I mean, sh I went around when it was made, but I, I enjoyed it when I saw it. And I can't remember what it was. I was 15 or 16 when I saw this. That was a long time ago, you youngsters. Deep to the to the growing area. Vertical suplex by the suplex master, Puma Kid. And the difference between a, a suplex as in waist lock style and suplex as in front headlock style. A side headlock right there. Mr. Chop. Hang a body slam. Like you tried to get him out of that ring. Ten minutes. Ah. One. Uh, Pesky trying to get there. The side headlock. Give up. Give up. He's trying to win out with that side headlock. Snap suplex. And right now, JWO, they, they're trying to go from five to two. It's, it's not far. Oh, he ate that up, but he ate that up, but snap suplex. That headbutt got eight. I mean, just, just he just put the nomin on the headbutt. He ate that headbutt. Vertical suplex, he's outside the ring. Oh, One, there goes B Black. Two, he's in. Three. And D Block got a chair. Two. Chair drop, fireman's carry. Tag in the B. Front head lock. PK Heat trying to get the fans behind them. They, they do a good job at that. They, they do a good job at it. Front kicks him off. Oh, nice punch to the face. Was off the double team. Puma King, he's up and out. He DDT. He's talking them up for those power drivers. The purveyor of the power Five, driver. Two. Nope. DDT. Head drop to the growing area. Another one. Oh, if he tries to the back body drop, and he falls outside the ring, and Puma Kid's gonna hold that base so he can't do anything three. out there. Oh, he just got elbowed out. Well, Puma Kid went back to the ring. There you go. 
DDT, like he caught a bit of that in the rim of the chair there. And from a kid, like he's thinking about it. Oh, he came in after D. Power driver, that tombstone power driver by Heat. Left punch, he ate that. Got him in the corner. He's got him up. Oh, left punch, tornado DDT. Or swinging DDT, whichever you want to call it. Tag in the D block. Double drop kick. Knee to the growing area. Knee to the growing area. Good grief. The brothers black be doing knee to the growing. Tags in Puma Kid. Probably gonna have a double clothesline. Knee drop to the back. Shoots him outside. One. Just to get over D block. Three. He drops down. Tombstone power drive on D block. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Destroy him. Destroy him on D block. Help better Puma Kid. Reverse DDT. He is whipping his ass. Look at Marine, fisherman suplex, running fisherman suplex, jumping fisherman, no, he broke that up. Drop the tail, get DQ. At the ropes, he tackles him. He's strangling him. That's, that's a choke, that's a forearm choke. That's what makes it legal. Took the world course through two-stone power driver. Deep black is hurt. Two, two point nine. PK he trying to hold on to that right two spot. Falconado. That 180 Falconado. Snap suplex. No. Rolling suplex. Triple rolling suplex. Indicative of Pyroria back in the day. 2.9. Manhattan drop. Headbutt. B-Block trying to, trying to wreck shot right now. Push it to the corner, that hammer throw, a short one. Lift to the top, Put the kid, got him up top. Breaks the face, hops down. Mount position, punches to the up, and Put the kid surrenders. Your winner of the match, J.W.L. Black. B and D Black. I thought that was a pretty good match. Uh, I thought it deserved a little bit more than that right there. A little bit more than that. Just a little bit more than that. But, uh, well, JWO Block, they get to rank two. They get all the way up to rank two. So congratulations, y'all, because y'all y'all, y'all did it. Y'all y'all did it. I'm going to go ahead on my, my scratch paper here, underline those that won their matches so I can remember who's ranked to, to put up on the official website. At uh, web host or web stinger at CRW717 for those interested. Next, we've got singles match juniors, Flatus and Emerald Storm. Let's, let's get on to the, to the ring. Making her way to the ring, representing one half of Devolution Storm. Standing 5'9, weighing 224 pounds, Emerald Storm. And her opponent, representing the mayor from the Sudan and leader, standing 5'8", weighing 194 pounds, Lavis. Referee, Faye Borlin. What? Emerald Storm and Flyers has locked up a few times in the past. And that's sort of a back and forth thing right there, but there's no few. They just go out there and wrestle, do their thing. I kind of likes it like that. Joshi style body slam by Emerald Storm. That won't be the last one you see. Double drop to the back of the head by Flyers. And Flyers' style, speaking about uh, punching and whatnot. Um, it made me think about Tiny Mouse 
with one of the creepiest intros so far. Um, that's only uh, judged by the matriarch. However you think, you can let me know. But um, yeah, Sunday was the first official road show, CR Fire Pro Road. No commentary, obviously, it's on the road. But it was the select uh, number one contender, well not contender, but uh, ranked number one for in the junior heavyweight division. And obviously by who loses is the process of the yeah. elimination and all that stuff, some elimination tournaments. Um, you know, 12 juniors. Uh, another one's been added to the box. Oh, oh my goodness, e already a standing knee bar. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and it was a good show. Hour and 38 minutes. So you can go and check that out. That's on that's on YouTube. That's uh, on it should still be on Twitch. And it should be on minds.com slash CRW717. Another standing knee bar. Shoto! It's down to the back of the leg. Back Bowden chops him, middle kicks, middle kicks one. They are, wow, 450. What, what is up with them? They are already going for, for these big moves. Like they're trying to get it over with quick. I am honestly not used to this from either of these girls. Oh, she missed, she missed that running splash into the corner. Yeah, Flaris is already gassing out. Five minutes gone. And Emerald being a suplexer, she is definitely, she's got plenty in the what? gas tank. Queen's Northern Light Bomb, good grief. I'll be honest with you people, I am perplexed. I am honestly perplexed. This is not, what are they trying to do? Punk. She missed that punch. Yeah. Nice form. She missed that looping punch. Yeah. Oh, slap. And she gets the looping punch. That Liddell punch, I guess you call it. But there's some kind of Russian hook. I don't know where it came from. Release German suplex. Oh, and Flaris got right up jumping fist drop. Flaris off the ropes. Yeah. Flying knee bomb. She goes for the pin, rightfully One. so. Two. Two. Puts her right in the corner. Flyer stalks her, puts her back in. These strikes to the body. Half pack suplex hold. One, two. two. Or a chicken wing yeah. suplex, either way you want to call it. I call it a half hatch. There weren't so many copyrights on yeah. names back in them days. Shoto strike up a cut rush, go for that pin. One, Hooks that leg. Two. Good job. Only two and a quarter. Fast seems to be back pedaling. Up on her front suplex by Emerald Storm. Goes for the pin. One. One. Two. two. Nope. Two and a quarter. Yeah. Brain Buster. Vocal One. drop Brain Buster. Coming off the rope. Two. Oh, she's too tired. Three. She's too hurt. Too hurt. They, I mean, they gas each other out in the opening of the match. Uh. Elbow butt. Yeah. Bicycle knee strike. Off the ropes. Mr. Thrust could with that could be black. Knee strike to the Can body. Move tight. Clutch. Yeah. Spinning back fist. Go for the pin. Two point nine. Two point nine. Diving guillotine drop. Is she in the ropes? Yeah, they're in the ropes. They're in the ropes. She pulled away from the ropes. Manhattan drop. Goes behind. Elbow butt. Irish whip. Oh, she just stood there. Flaris is so gassed. She just hoped that 
She would just have more energy and just bump her up. Yeah. And she got in that sleeper yeah. hole, that sleeper choke. Yeah. Queen's never let her down. She might have her. Florence is tired. She is straight tired. No, she kicked out. There's life in her yet. She'll take up a cut rush once more. Go for the pin. One, two, two point nine. Tiger bomb. One, two, two and a half. Oh, she's gassed. She's hurt. She just caught a spinning back fist. That might be it. One, two. No, that is not it. Back and forth. There you go. Middle kick, chop. Middle kick, chop. Roman Kaiser getting chopped. Some matches you just don't want to end, but everything must conclude. Yeah. Go behind. Slip a choke. She's got it deep. She's got that deep because you get to the ropes. No, she gets out of it though. Jack and foot position. Irish whip. She holds on. Francis on defense. Manhattan dropped by Emma Star. She's pumped. Go behind. Abdominal stretch. Abdominal stretch. I don't think she's worked that body enough, but who knows? Yeah. She's got her up. She'll drop brain buster. Or she'll drop suplex. Two. Three. And your winner of the match representing the lower and the leader. Larry's. That that was a brutal damn match. What got into y'all? Ninety five percent? Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I definitely agree with that ninety five percent. Some match you just don't want to end, but they got to. So, Flares holds on to her rank. She's still ranked two. All right, time for a tag team match. Ah. <sighs> Family issues, y'all, I guess. Let's go. Making their way to the ring. Galaxy. First. Standing six feet one. Weighing 246 pounds from Russia. Stella Flame. And her partner standing six feet either way. 275 pounds. World. And their opponents. Representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance, DWA. First, standing five feet lower, weighing 310 pounds, Muto Turka. And his partner, standing six feet three, weighing 302 pounds, Kyle Jin. The referee, Yana Tujigi. So, a little banged up, a little better, but I'm out there. I'm doing my thing. And I'm tying up against my son, World. One. Why are you showing off? And you're really close to matching this ring. You trying to camouflage? Got the tag in, the kaiju. Shoulder thrusts. Oh, but he dropped to the back of the, the shoulders there. Tag in to Solar Flame. Shoulder knockdown. She ain't gonna stay down for long. Real breaker. Triangle body slam. Knee to the body. Back and forth right now. And you to the back of the head. Elbow to the back, stomp to the leg. Ooh, toe kick. Knee strikes to the body, stomp to the back of the leg. 
overhand front suplex. One, two, got them, got the tattoo in. Knee to the body. Knee drop to the back of the head. It's still back and forth. Still back and forth. No one can right now put out a clear, distinct advantage. Rip breaker. Another rip breaker. Stomp to the arm. It's like a gym man getting a total body workout. Uh oh. Aided power bomb. Stomp to the face. Another one. Back and forth. Body kick. Punches. Throw oh, elbows. Punch. Kick. Elbow. Elbows win. Sometimes I forget how impressively massive my son is. Five minutes gone. As I get tagged in. Look, man, you can't be tagging the man. I ain't face crusher. Kaijin had to get out. He started getting owned right there near the end. Last time me and World really hooked up, it didn't end too well for him. That was uh, at Typhoon's End, the final match. Overhead elbow. Typhoon in. Typhoon's in was one of the, the biggest events. It was um it was eight weeks. A large 32 wrestler tournament from the road, from TV, clashing, battling it out, lots of injuries, epic matches. Um it was one of the best shows of the year to me so far. Well, best series, not shows. Elbow to the back, stomp to the back of the leg. Chop. Match is still kind of opening. Still, still kind of opening here. So, yep. Everything is looking copacetic here. Stomp to the face. Shoulder knocked down. Stomp to the face. Low kick. No one's really getting a distinct advantage here either. And honestly shouldn't. I mean, I trained them. Dragon screw arm whip on the ground. Ooh, knee shot to the body. Ooh, swift tie kick. That, that one cool. Don't kick your old man in the back of the head like that. Jumping suplex. It's kept in the ring. Thought I was going out for a second. One, Hit the leg. Two. I know it's a two-count collagen, but still. Yeah, you get in. Yeah! Double brain busted. World One, ball to the outside. Two. Three. Ten minutes gone. You trying to throw him into me. That was dastardly, man. Overhead elbow. Straight punch missed. With a bare knuckle punch missed. Manhattan drop. From behind. Argentine backbreaker. Innovated by Antonino Roca, or Rocca, whichever you want to call it, or pronounce it. Hang the body slam. Boston Club, reverse style. Ah, you, you, you called for some help then, huh? Flying knee bomb. Indicative of flatters. Knee strikes to the body. Hops to the top. Diving knee to the back. Just like, oh, reverse Achilles stretch. Or reverse knee bar. Body blow. Kai just got to fight off two. Another Argentine backbreaker. I don't know how much of a save that was, but that kick to the leg help. And Gigi Katami. And Muto should be getting out of the room soon. Middle kick missed. Go behind. Oh, saved his wife from that German suplex. Real breaker. Or Schmidt style backbreaker. Go now. 
drag his screw leg with from the apron. One, it's on two, outside now. Three, four, five, well, Kyle six, and, uh, six uh, legal. seven, Tyler eight, Ooh, took a body blow. nine. Man, I didn't drop. I just took damage for the, for the team. World placed in the corner. Miss tattooed into the corner. World miss him up. Forearm knocked down. He's still from that corner, bro. Don't get caught. Rolls him over, moving the ring. One, One two. two. Maybe, maybe Galaxy's work out their problems. Maybe. Oh man, Tiger Driver. One. Shades two. of the original Tiger Mask. That's when it was called the Tiger Driver. One. Everybody saving everybody. Good job. After all, they come jumping knee to the back. One. One. Two. two. Aided power bomb. Face crusher. One. One. Two. Kicked off. Tie up flying man. Pick him up. Double team maybe. Tattoo. Kaiser got tattooed. The kick master needs to start kicking. Tag in the Muto. Stomp to the back of the leg. That was a strong stomp, too. Elbow, take the chop. Elbow, take the chop. Elbow. Off the ropes. Running net breaker drop. Off the ropes, no. Still in control. Jumping suplex. Jumping release suplex. Oh, he counted. Give up. Took down, counted to an Achilles stretch. Argentine backbreaker. Trying to save him. Oh, again, countered that low kick Give into up. an Achilles stretch. Give and up. cannot get to the ropes. Jogging for position. Give up. Sleeper chokehold. Thanks, partner. Took your eye forever in eight days to get in here. Juju Gatame. Give up. Yana to Jiggy doing the best she can with this match. Just as well as I am on commentary. Eight is power bomb. They are working as a team tonight. One. One two. two. Low kick. He's still up to it. Double brain buster. Scorpion death lock applied. And that leg has been worked. Give up. Kaiser run interference. There we go, kick combination. Yeah. Drag your screw leg here. Big time. 20 minutes gone. Missed to the face. I don't care if y'all boo. Give Sleeper up. choke. Kaiser standing Give guard. Up. Yamazaki style combination kick. Coming out that corner, Bamba Yo! Scorpion death lock applied! Give up! Give up! World fights tooth and nail, just like he's trained to do. Let your body quit before your mind do. Cobra Clutch, Japanese sleeper, studied by Solar Flame, rolling knee ball by Kaiji. Go behind. Get, get, get away from me, son. Great. Not happening. That that middle kick, sleeper choke. Give up. Great. Solar Flame is not really interested in coming in and helping her husband. Pin down. No. Rolls him over. Scorpion death lap. Away from the ropes. And hits the windows. And your winners of the match and retaining their slap. His DWA. That was a pretty good match. What in the world is that? Oh, that's the alarm.
that's a countdown. That's a countdown. 82. Come on, man. 82. It got to be better than 82. Just saying, man. 82 is, is pretty low. That, that was a good little match there, man. I done did good. <laughs> Can't give me that low. Uh, all right. Let's, let's get on because we got two big, basically double main event. Let's see if they can keep their respective spots. Making her way to the ring, representing hierarchy. Standing 5'11", weighing 229 pounds, Vivian Soul Sister. And her opponent. From Japan, standing six feet one, weighing 235 pounds, Batum of Power, Shigahara Shingo. The referee, Quintessa Morata. Oh, he ducked that, that, that punch, or well, that, that hammer punch anyway. Chop. Bottomless power. I mean, he lost out last week to rank two for Joji Takami. So, I mean, and right now, on that loss, Vivian Solstice is going to try to capitalize. Maybe his spirit is down and he's you know, feeling a certain way, so she's going to try to capitalize. And that's the smart thing to do. That's what Galaxy tried to do against uh, DWA in that last match. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this go, cause she got how to. He, I mean, he done. He done hurt up daylight. He hurt up uh, Takumi Hojoji a little bit. I mean, no injuries or anything, but they, you know, little bruises here and there. You know, the match had to be stopped. So right now, he's he's kind of a showstopper in, in that sense. She comes in with the DDT. You gotta come in strong and heavy again. I mean, look at the guns on Shigahara. Shigahara san is, is is epic. At that uh, Ezra Giddy, big man got ups. The big man got ups. Knife edge chops and taser chops. The taser chops win. Kick to the smile with the back there. Another kick to the smile with the back. Shoots him off the ropes. No, he holds on. DDT. Stomp to the body. Hammer throw. Put you in the corner. Chop, chop. Multiple chops. Gold Buster. Reverse Buster Crab. That's a that's a good strategy right there. You, you slam it on the abdomen and then you stretch it. So that's that's pretty good. Nice suplex there by Vivian. Oh, she missed that punch and he nailed that rolling cause a good chop. I mean, she left herself wide open. Reverses her suplex to tip into one of his own. Five oh, head, oh, head, head, head vice, head vice. Uh, in the corner, turns a chop, puts him back in the corner, picks him up, reverse dive, but is he weakened enough? Is he weakened enough? No, elbow butt. You see, this is later on in the match, that would have been a leg drop. It would have been smart anyway. Oh, she blocks, puts her in the corner. She says no, side headlock. Break. She puts him in the corner. She, she picks him up there again. Then she got him. Elbow butts, no. Off the ropes, shoulder block, picks him up, side head lock control, Give up. pushes her off, that hammer punch, puts him in the corner again, and this is a great match right here, this is a good match we're having, this is a nice match, she's got him up, no, reverses to a, su a reverse suplex, and drops off. I'm distracted. 
I gotta, I gotta take a little chill pill because my, my baby's home. I got to get the dough. I'm back. I'm One, back. Does she have two. them? I don't know what action I missed, but I had to. I, I, I had, to, had to had to had to do the right thing now. Oh, that's that lariat. One, two, two, three. And he got her. And your winner of the match, Shihara Shingo, and he retains his rank three spot. Good job, Shihara. Good job. We got one match after this. Punching Lariat. I think I would just call that the Shigahara Lariat. Yeah. Yeah, Shigahara style Lariat. I don't know. I'll talk to his agent and see what we should call that. Next up is the main event. Let's go. This is your main event. Making her way to the ring. One half of Team Submit, standing six feet one, weighing 235 pounds, Miss Submit. And her opponent, from Japan, standing six feet even, weighing 238 pounds, heart and soul, for Joji Takumi! Your referee, Cherry. Fight! Miss Cement comes in at rank 7. Gonna test Joji san for his rank 2. Out. And he missed that drop kick. It's best to have a wrestler stand before going for a big move like that. Out. Side headlock. Arm ringer and elbow stab. Fire Miss Carry takeover. Got out the way of that drop kick right then. Irish whip drop down off the ropes himself. Missed the shoulder block. Shoulder knocked down by Miss Submit. Knife edge chopped by Hojoji. Forearm knocked down by Submit. Right now it's pretty much even. Tessa strength. Ooh, nice straight knuckle punch to the head. Go behind. Standing switch. Forearm knocked down. Stomp to the back of the leg. Behind the body slam. Hammer throw, but no, no dice on that. They missed their respective attacks. Another hammer throw. He backs up. Nope, she comes out the corner a little too fast. Stomp to the back of the leg. She's going to work every part of the body. Drop down. Mountain bomb. Chop to the face. Knife edge chops back and forth, they go. Knife edge chops went out for a Hojoji. One. Fire Miss Carry. Drives that V out. to the arm. Out. Out. Ooh, throat chop. That was a stiff knife edge chop. Landing onto the throat. Left punch. Back body drop. And Hojoji is bleeding. 
I'm not sure what 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 opened up. I think that punch to the head did it. Five minutes. That's what gone. I'm thinking. <laughs> Vertical suplex. Drives that knee into the arm. She's gonna work everything. Hang a body slam. She's outside the ring. One, and he's gonna try to take some time two. to recover. And she gets a chair. What's up with everyone getting weapons? One, oh, she comes right across the chest. Come on, Cherry. <laughs> Reverse ace crusher. Go on to a referee's for the for the road TV ah. show. Uh, referee John Helton referee every single match and he did a great job. He did a great job. Oh, drop kick off the ropes. She was staring for that. Backslide. One. Fans showing their appreciation. Knee to the body. Stump to the back of the leg. Drives that knee into the forearm. Hang a body slam. One, two. They're, they're, they're working hard here. Man, chop rush right to the neck. One, one two. two. Neck kick, shoulder arm breaker. Stomp to the back of the leg, another one. Missed their respective strikes, forearm smash, shoulder knockdown, rolls him over, picks him up, and gets in front of him. That was a waste of movement. Hammer throw this time, and nope, she toe kicks him away. The side head lock. Give up. And she holds on to the ropes. Miss Submit is, is, is fighting back. Each knee sign, she. Oh, yeah. Show. That's. Mm. One, two. Ten minutes gone. Four. One, He's up top. Two, three. Diving missile drop kick. Well placed, well timed, nice air time. Missing mid. Oh, she missed that clothesline. She really committed to it. Arm ring and elbow stab. Swing and neck breaker drop. Picks him up. Oh, stiff leg kick. She's going in for something. Oh, took the world crush screw tombstone power driver. Honestly, that should really be it, but One, seems like that's a setup. Is we giddy off the top rope? Two point nine. Hardy Soul is looking up his name because he's bleeding a lot. Back body drop. One. Expert two, goes for the pin after that. She sees that he's hurt. She sees that he's he's, he's a little tired. Shoots her to the outside. He's going to the top rope. Two. What in the world? Three. Diving drop kick to five, the outside. Six. Seven. German suplex. What the? Duffin, Duffin flex suplex. Oh, he put on a hurting out there. He put a hurting on her out there. Uh oh, vertical cross arm breaker. Beautifully done by Miss Submit. She's worked the arms, the legs, but not so much the head. Again, vertical cross arm breaker. That's her finisher. She's going to keep going for it. Give up. She's taking her shot and she wants it. Into the corner they go, puts him in, toe kicks him down. That boot choke. The boot choke got him, got him right there in there, yeah. Rolls him over, picks him up. Gave him too much time to recover. Chops back and forth, knife edge, front. Drop kick, he nailed that drop kick. Stop to the body. After work they go, go behind, standing switch. After works again, clothesline knockdown, go for the pin. One, 
two. two. Go behind, elbow butt. After up she go. Another close line knockdown. Is she going for the pin? Yes. One, One two, 2.9. Two and she's working that hard area in, in, in what way she can. That's it, Aztec cross on scoop brain buster. But she's too hurt to follow up. That's gonna give him plenty of time to get up. And he's on Dream Street. Flying Mel to the chair. Up kick. And he is OG. That, that, that's a lot of blood loss. Forearm shot. Each knee, side, two. One, two. Three. He's waiting on her. Too much time. She tried to throw him. Reverse up kick. Going up about the same time. Manhattan drop. Off the ropes. Oh, they collided heads. She miscalculated that. Shoulder knocked oh. down. And he's pumped, but he's, he's he's losing it. He's trying to he's trying to stay in there. Kind of, oh, she threw him and tried to come out that that hard corner. Aztec scoop brain buster. Pulling away from the ropes best she can. Go for the pin. Great. I look like they was out the ropes to me, but <laughs> Cherry's Cherry has better eyes out there. German suplex. Roll oh, through. Yeah. Dolphin suplex one. One, two, three, oh, yeah. four. One, two. I was, a, I was a diving knee strike to the back of the head right there. That's what that looked like. One, two, two three. three. And he wins and yeah. retains his rank two. And your winner of the match is Takami Hojoji. That was a, a, that was honestly a methodical match. That was one of the best matches I've I've seen uh, him in. I don't, I don't, I don't see one of the best match. I don't know. Uh, Hojoji keeps delivering. Mister Mitt had to bring it. She brought it out of him. You know, I was curious to see if Hojoji could do a time tested type match. I was I was curious. You know, Hojoji uh, goes pretty strong, pretty heavy. Shows a lot of frustration in that ring. And Mister Mitt, she she will test you. She will stretch you, and she will test it, test you. And if you're showing that kind of you know, impatience, uh, impatience that she was, she's going to capitalize. And it seems like Kojoji kept his calm. He chill and he, he came out on top and diving against Rigini. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. And he held on to his rank two position. So this means on Christmas Eve, that is going to be the rubber match right there. That's going to be the tiebreaker between Shigahara Shingo and Hojoji Takumi. That's going to be the third match of theirs. And maybe, I don't know, maybe their last. I don't know. It's going to be hard because, you know, this was me. I gave them a random push and they took it. You know, I don't set matches. I don't do any of that. Nope. You win, you win on your own. That's it. And they won on their own and they wrestled each other on their own. And win or lose, they did it on their own. And that's how that's how this should be. Hojoji and Shigahara, they are going to do battle one last time. That will, as I said, that'll be Christmas Eve in a very festive ring. <laughs> uh, so hopefully everyone will enjoy that when that comes out. I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna do that ahead of time or if I'm going to wait. I'm not sure. Um, so look, I, I want to say thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time. Uh, you know, Hey, put down there in the comment section, you know, which wrestler did you like? What was your favorite match? Uh, any surprises to you or anything like that? Hey, converse. And if you, if not here, there's so my social media is down there in the description below, you know, you got there's there's minds, there's Mastodon, Twitter, um, 
you know, that go go there. That's that's where I'm that's where I'm going to be for now. Um, and I might have to just stay there because they seem to do exactly what needs to be done. They don't sell your information. They don't do any of that stuff. Well, Twitter does. So I'm going to get up out of here. It's been long enough. This is Cedric for CR Wrestling, for CR Fire Pro. Good night.